How's it going people? Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. You'll notice that there's not going to be any um, background music or any, you know, professional high quality stuff. And it's because I've been once again influenced by Big Joel or Little Joel or just Joel. But I love him. I love him a lot. And, uh, you know, he started the Little Joel channel t for like these lesser ideas, pretty much almost like a blog sort of thing and I really like it because you know Big Joel's got a lot of ideas I've got a lot of ideas humans just have a lot of ideas and some of my ideas don't belong in like the format that I normally do so yeah I uh I shaved off my facial hair so that you don't think that I'm copying Big Joel all right so um you know, speaking of humans and ideas, one of my other main inspirations is the Beatles. I've made a lot of videos. Well, not a lot, but I've made some videos about them. I mentioned them. And, you know, you don't really have a favorite Beatle, but I do love John Lennon. And, uh, you know, after Sgt. Pepper's, the Beatles want, and by the way, Sgt. Pepper is one of the greatest albums of all time. So, like, how do you follow that up? But they wanted to clear their heads, so they said. And so they went to India. And, you know, that's what turned into the White Album. And you notice by the cover how pure it is. And a lot of that is down to the fact that, you know, it's, it's a semi-acoustic album in the sense of while they made a lot of those songs in India, around half on the White Album, they just had acoustic guitars. They didn't have their studio set up. You know, there was no Abbey Road, EMI, whatever. And uh, they had also been doing lots of drugs during 67. So 68 rolls around, blah, blah, blah. For me, that's that's why this album is so good. And I overlooked it for a long time. And I love it. Charles Manson liked it too. But, uh, you know, if you look at the track list, John did a lot of these songs. Um, somewhere around half. And... This is almost like a John album for me. It's so human. It's like the human's human. The human, 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 human album. But John was going through this like good and bad period. You know, obviously he's one of the most famous people in the world. He's got so much influence. So imagine that. But he had also found Yoko Ono, whom he very dearly loved, as we all know. Or if you don't know, then now you do. But he also had drug issues during this time. You know, you can blame those drug issues down to Bob Dylan, probably, especially the H, if you know what I mean. Um, I really can't believe that I'm forgetting that song. Nonetheless, you know, there's a bunch of John songs, but I wanted to focus on a few here. Your Blues, Sexy Sadie, and Julie. Now, Your Blues is this song that's so, it's like, it's proto heavy metal, so to speak. Um, along with Helter Skelter, those two really were influential. But the lyrics are so dark. They're so bloody dark. Um, it's just a crazy song. And John loved it. He performed it even after the Beatles broke up. Meanwhile, you've got Sexy Sadie. And it's just, just this, it's just this, 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 it's just this banger. It almost sounds like a Weezer song. I've always sort of wanted to hear Weezer cover it. So if you're watching, you know, Rivers go ahead that'd be pretty cool but um i don't know the lyrics are nice it's talking about like royal family and it's just it's cute it's cute then you've got julia and it's just this beautiful song john it feels so close to the mic it's so intimate and it opens up with half of what i say is meaningless which is really interesting especially for someone like john who Everyone wanted to know what he was going to say next. So that's, you know, something to think about. And so you start to have this picture of just like all these emotions all at once for John on the White Album. And by this time, I don't think he was looking to make anything super influential. I mean, they just did Sgt. Pepper's. It was a huge smash success. I think John just wanted to make music for himself. And this is where you start to see like the turn of the band. And then you just all sum it up with, with Dear Prudence. And 
it's just such a pure song and it's such a helpful song obviously it's meant to help prudence but you know it helps us too when you listen to the lyrics and it's just so beautiful like the song crescendos towards the end and i love it so much the 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 vocal the background vocal harmonies are so incredible you know i'm not trying to break down the album but i want to give you guys a description so you just know what i'm going for because I don't know, it just feels so unfiltered, you know, and I don't know if it's purposeful or not, I don't, but I don't really think it matters. It's just like, I think it just gets overlooked, is what I'm trying to say, because of Sgt. Pepper's. But John on the White Album, he was just crazy. He was literally like Michael Jordan in the 90s. He was like Messi in the 2010s. He was like, I don't know, it was just incredible. I really recommend you listen to the run of these uh, tracks from John. But yeah, peace and love.